come take a ride on the idiot's guide to animals. Come over to the other side, it's the idiot's guide to animals. It's the idiot's guide to animals. Hello, and uh, welcome to an idiot's guide to animals. I'm Kirsten. Oh, and I'm Adam. And I'm Rich. <laughs> Good job, guys. We did the first bit <laughs> going well. Did we, um, though? I well. like a little voice to put on, actually, <laughs> for it as soon as I'm actually recording. Oh, g'day, guys. I'm, uh, I'm Kirsten. <laughs> <laughs> this is, anyway, oh, we're getting too loud. Later. We're getting yeah. too loud. Yeah. I'm getting too loud. Sorry, yeah. I'll um, put it back in the restrain box. myself mm. a little bit. Oh, we didn't do our, like, uh, country-specific oh, introductions. Did I not say g'day? Oh, you might say I'm g'day. Sure I did g'day, yeah. Is tally ho unacceptable? I don't English. think that, that would be more of a goodbye, Onwards. wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, that's what you're saying. All right, All right. I'm All right. it's an idiot's guide to animals. All right. All right, yeah, want to hear about some that. animals? So the idea of this podcast is to discuss our favourite animals. So me and Adam on each podcast will do a different animal and then Rich at the end of the podcast is going to decide who he likes the best. Well, no, what is the best? What is the best? Mm. So you actually don't have a, like, it's not who you like the best. No, it's just what is is the best. What is the best, So you're really thinking with your mind rather than your heart. I don't know about that. You're not allowed to, like, gang up. What do you mean, gang up? There's only me, so I can't really gang. (laughs) No, you can can gang up with with Adam against me. Don't do that. It's not a fight. No, it's, it's not a fight. We're just giving it's... our opinions and then he's giving his opinion yeah. on what he thinks is the best. I mean, and if he happens to choose mine what is, what is every the best? week, um, my animal, generally. Yeah, okay. yeah. No, I mean, my animal's going to be more thoroughly researched, if we're honest. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's the best. <coughs> you know, you could talk a lot about bees. Well, yeah, actually... Bees are really interesting, but this is an example. <laughs> you could talk loads about a maggot and have heaps of research about it, but it's not ever going to be the best animal, is it? Well, it's no. not necessarily no. the best animal. No. It's, it, it's the criteria, I suppose, will change each week. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> Which I'll, can be I'll be, good. Like themes, like, I'll be the judge We can do themes um, if you want. Like a Christmas theme, because there's like Christmas beetles that are real colourful. Mm. Okay, well, animal. I mean, and we're I'll in like. February. Could be like um, Easter bunnies. Okay. I'm going to do that. Okay. You oh, know, like Easter you bunnies aren't real. What? I mean, rabbits are real, but the Easter bunny mm. is not I, real. Look, I let's think, not um, ruin people's hopes and dreams so early in the podcast. Yeah, okay. 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 Kids okay. will be listening to this. The kids probably. will not be listening to this. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, swear just, warning. <laughs> you, you've just admitted <laughs> right. Easter bunny's not real <laughs> on an open channel, essentially. And then just lost half of our audience. Yeah, great. <laughs> what, half, the half that are children? Mm. Yeah, because kids are really Might interested. be a smaller half, because okay. they are smaller. So are we excited about Also, there's some adults that also would believe in Easter bunny, like special really? needs adults. Oh, my God. Just saying. They would. <laughs> okay, maybe. Yeah, we're on a slippery slope now. <laughs> Probably one we get. Crawl off. Crawl off. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next thing. Yeah, so about. you're excited about the podcast? Uh, oh, I know Adam's a bit disappointed excited. about it not being called Adam's Animal Facts. Yeah, that was actually the best name, I think, out of it. Well... If you call it the <clears> AAF, <throat> AF, <It's> simple. <laughs> then that. people would just think it was like, as fuck. Awesome as fuck animals, essentially. <laughs> oh, that would have been much better. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> uh, we've, we've what have we been doing? We, <laughs> we <laughs> may actually change the name <laughs> to awesome as fuck Oh, animals. I don't think you're allowed to have, like, It'd be awesome, a swear word no, in your title. Awesome AF animals. Okay. Damn, Damn it. How about just thought about this now? <laughs> Jesus. Because this is the first time you thought about it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no preparation Need whatsoever. Fared pretty well. Though. Have you? I mean, you, you did actually come up with the title of the podcast. Which, as we know, is like sub part of the title. I'm well, just yeah. Up, so. But my sister Sorry. came up You've with quite a few good ones, didn't she? Yeah. Um, yeah. She's she did. pun horrific, isn't she? She's That's like... not actually a funny pun because it makes no sense. <laughs> It's not even um, a word. It's she's just punnerific. <laughs> I wasn't trying to make. She's punny. You could do yeah, that. She's that would be good. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Come on. Just completely messed up. Didn't I? She's yeah, punnerific. Did, but... Yeah. Well, uh, she. We we were thinking about doing emusing podcast. That was my favorite one. Actually. That was a good one, wasn't yeah. it? Don't tell Laura that though. Well, she's really gonna bad. she's gonna hear it. So. Is it and, still and I already a, told. She has an ugly dog. <laughs> Don't, don't shit all over Milo on the podcast because she'll be sad. Well, every week I'm going to say something 
bad about her dog. We've just now. lost another listener. I <laughs> didn't have any to start with. So I think we're all... Minus one. Yeah. Okay. Laura's not even going to start listening to it. So... I wouldn't listen to it anyway. Should I just tell you she did? Oh, it was great. Yeah. No, no she, I like that funny part you said. She's okay, cool. Very honest. I'm sure cool. she would listen to it. She's going to be in it. Like okay. one of her stories is going to be in it mm. later. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. Cool. Funny. Do you have any news stories this week about animals? Just to get us going in, um, like, the animal theme. Got a dry throat, actually. <clears throat> That's got nothing to do with it. So, yeah, yeah, it's not really news. Oh, I mean, do you want to... Shall we, like, first um, i got off? some news, actually. Oh, go on, Can then. we talk about, like, um, the koala program? Oh, yeah, that shit. That is being yeah. run by the Rockhampton Zoo, where our hometown, or well, yeah. my hometown, you aren't from here. Oh, All wow, right. bloody immigrants. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so the koala project, that's good. We're yeah. looking to reintroduce koalas into the area of Rockhampton and the wider region. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Boost numbers, Loose because there's zero. Because there's zero, so <laughs> any will be good. If we get two there, we've, already, we've, we've succeeded, so oh, that's dear. exciting, really exciting news. Um, um, they are vulnerable. In Byfield, is it? Is that where they're doing um, it? Uh, Mount Archer National Park. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, pretty interesting. That's really close. Yeah, not okay. very far from here at all. You could probably see it from here, in fact. What, the koala? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, two, okay. Here you go, buddy. You need, there is. <laughs> <laughs> you need at least two to start, yeah, to they, start well, a family of Not koala. really. You need more than two to have a viable population. Yeah, but to have baby koalas, you do need a minimum need two, of two. A minimum of two. Yeah. <laughs> of different genders. Of different genders, yeah, not it's two. That's what we've learned, actually. But did you know there's like... You you mean you learned you needed male and female to make the babies? Yeah, yeah. When did you learn that? Well, quite recently. I don't want to get into my uh, assortment of affairs. Anyway. So another thing I wanted to talk about was Rich's special classification. It's kind of like where the idea for this podcast came from. It's not really special. Well, you don't really know too much about animals, do you? I think I know enough. And you've caused me immense frustration over the years um, with your ineptitude naming animals. I have actually written down (coughs) my classification because it's quite complicated. Go on then. Okay. Yeah. Well, you've only really got four types of animals. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Animals, which yeah. you know, are sort of self Can I just interject immediately? Hang on, hang How on can you have... Why don't you let him just finish his <laughs> classifications first? Don't just jump down his throat. All right, let's up. start. There's four types of things that live on the earth. <laughs> oh, no, that's worse. That? Right? Animals and fish. Mm-hmm. Birds. Uh-huh. True, he's not wrong. And bugs. Not wrong at all. And I've that's... seen all of those things. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but there are things that fall outside those categories. Are we the judge of that? Okay, so what... There could be another, but I've yet to find like a thing that doesn't yeah. fit into the. Well, you say the things that live on Earth. What about plants and fungi? And oh yeah, plants, but they're not really under the whole <coughs> moving things. They're not under the oh, so animal you've got moving kingdom. Living things, and you've mm. got stationary living That's things. Actually, quite surprising because the That's definition of an animal is um, it has to be them. motile at some point. Has to move. Motile. <laughs> Did you say motile? Yeah, that's what, Does, that means. Mean it has to be able. No, motile is Are a you word. Sure? Yeah, I'm positive. I think you've got it confused with mobile. No, it's mobile definitely a means word. moving. Trust me. Motile. Motile. Yeah. What? What's it mean? It, m- moving. <laughs> so like mobile, but with a T. <laughs> yeah. But it means the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. Mm, I think you're yeah. wrong, but okay. <laughs> You can think that that's fine. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, that's one of the. <laughs> maybe so the you... listeners can resolve that one. Yeah, maybe yeah. is motile a word? And, I, or is I don't it just really care. Mobile? But... <laughs> okay, so you have hit on like one of the things that makes an animal an animal: the fact that it moves at some point mm-hmm. in its life. I've got some good knowledge, but it's pretty easy classification. Though. Like, like and... simple. That's what you want. Yeah, but mm. the term animal, you've used animal as one of your categories, and surely fish falls into. Animals. Yeah, why doesn't fish or birds, for that matter? Because they're, 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 they're different, like fish live in the sea, yep. and the birds sea animals. fly around. So you what could call them sea animals, like that? but that just gets confusing. you got seals and whales. I mean, they're not fish, they're mammals. Well, they're living... like, go, going okay. by, not going by your classification, going by the... I can explain it a bit. Scientists. If it swims around and lives in the water, mm. fish. Fish, okay. So okay. a whale? Fish. Fish, not a mammal. Does it swim around and live in the water? It does. Fish. <laughs> that makes sense. How about an otter? That spends time living on the on the land as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, so that's animal, and it's got legs. Okay, so no, that's true. That's animal. That's animal. All right, I think I think I figured it out. Simple, yeah. easy to understand. No need for all this confusion. All these scientific names. Mm. We're going to teach you. So, well, teach I, you that what happens if wrong. I happen to like his new classification system? It's I could very, be teaching you. It's yeah. very flawed. I haven't found a flaw with it yet. To be honest, <laughs> I'm sure we will find one. Okay. 
Good Do you want to dive right in with Actually, one of our animals? Oh no, go on. No, no, it's it's about yeah that you're going to say we'll dive into one of our animals. But yeah. one of my animals is kind, or the animal I've chosen today is it's kind of a bit of a tricky one, really. Like um, it might fall under to those classifications based on its behaviour. You know, like, you need to be careful because yeah. you're going to blow his mind. I know, like, on insane. the first um, episode. Should I introduce my animal now? If you want to go first, go ahead. Oh, you can go first. Oh no, it's all right. You can go. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, just flip the Wikipedia page. <laughs> As we do. Um, no, so all right. Prepared. So, anyways, the animal I've chosen, I'm pretty excited about actually. Mm-hmm. And the reason I'm excited is because I love this show called Kim Possible. So, the yeah. animal I picked is the naked mole rat. At first, I was when I was a little kid, I was super excited about naked mole rats. I thought they were the best animal in the world. Mm-hmm. My only reference being Kim Possible. Right. I loved Rufus, and I was like, how do I get me one of those? Because they're awesome. They do everything. Upon growing up, though, I've been <clears> very disappointed to learn that they're not the cool animal I thought them to be. Like, cool in other ways, but they don't, you know, they're not smarter than the average person, and they don't uh, fix things, and they're not your best buddy. They don't really like to be handled at all, they I don't, don't think. fix things. Yeah, Rufus, he goes around and fixes things. He's got his own rap. Yeah. He made his own rap. Okay. The naked mole rap. Okay. Yeah, of it. Look no, it up. No, I've yeah. not heard of it. I probably didn't watch no, anyway. as much. That's Kim probably Possible not even the tune. <laughs> um, I watched it because Ron Stoppable was actually <laughs> kind of my hero. It looked very similar. Uh, and he got the girl in the end. Yeah. The hot girl, mm-hmm. Kim Possible. But yeah. wasn't he like pretty useless? No, he was actually. He's not pretty useless. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Uh, this is not a Kim Possible uh, <laughs> podcast, though, so I think we're going off Yeah, track, maybe we yeah. shouldn't, like, veer back to So I'll, I'll, what I'm going to do is just read on the Wikipedia page. Okay. Uh, um, the naked mole rat, also known as the sand puppy, is a burrowing rodent which is closely related to blessed moles native to, to parts of East Africa, actually. To, to what? What are they? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll skip over that. Bless. <laughs> Bless moles. <laughs> okay. Actually, got th- anyway. let's just move on. <laughs> yeah, let's move on. Uh, they they're really cool. They lack pain sensitivity in their skin, so you know, uh, very low metabolic and respiratory rates. Pretty interesting, eh? Yeah, it's pretty wild. So but far. here we go. <laughs> oh, get to the good bit. Oh yeah, the most recent investigations place the naked mole rat in separate in a separate family known as now excuse the pronunciation. <laughs> Heterocephalidae. Interesting, okay. eh? I think that's a pretty decent... And actually, they're quite resistant to cancer. They're known to live quite um, long and be mm-hmm. quite resistant to a lot of diseases and stuff. The yeah. weird thing about them is they... This is why it's going to blow your mind. They don't actually act like most mammals or most moles. They act a lot like bees in a way. Like, what? Like bugs? I know you're... Like, what? Flying around. Yeah, <laughs> Do that. They don't do that. No, okay. like okay, like ants. So they actually have like the main queen, I suppose, who's the only one that can breed, and the rest of them are all like infertile, and they go and do the. Di- I don't even actually know what they do most of the day, but they dig. Yeah. The bees dig. Huh? Bees. Bees don't dig. Some bees. No, do. they can. Oh, just we're on naked mole rats. And that, <laughs> Sorry. Um. So yeah, it's actually um like a big. It's like a big colony, essentially. Okay. How amazing is that? Like, like a not hive many... mind. Yeah, like a like I can't remember what the word is. I actually wrote it down. I did write it down. Let's go find my notes. Actually, it was already ready to go. I've actually written here. They live in big family groups, kind of like ants or rednecks. <laughs> <laughs> but in rednecks, it's not just one one that reproduces. Right? No, um, it could be, but several of the males in the group oh, will okay. make the one female. Oh. It's a bit weird, yeah. It's, bit... it's the only thermoconformer. What, you, is... what does that mean? Yeah. I didn't actually write that down. <laughs> what do you think it means? Something. Conforming to the thermal environment around it. That's right. Maybe. Possibly. But yeah, so um, so pro- like I guess the pros, like the pros of an aching mole rat now would have learnt about them. Okay. Is they good, they, they you know... Good for cancer. They got long life. Um, when you say they're good for cancer, though, <laughs> I'm con- I've confused you. I see. Um, they they actually don't really get cancer. Amazing. But are they? Can that be used for people? Well, or is it just good do you for think the we naked mole rats? Like naked mole rat tablets, where we just compress them. I don't think that's how it down. works. They don't feel pain, so they wouldn't feel it. Well, maybe. Yeah. Well, that sounds fine then. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Very ethical. <laughs> yeah, so, but now the reason I chose them is because I think it's they're cool how like you know they live in a hive. They're super ugly though. Oh yeah, like they're, they're the, like the grossest looking animal yeah, I've ever seen in my life. Have you got a picture to show Rich and? I was gonna can... say we can show our viewers if we want. Yeah. That'll... Well, no, because Rich can uh, describe it. Then, there you go. Viewers, he's good at... well, I, well, I pointed at the microphone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, that'll, yeah. That'll, do well. that'll do it. Um, so well, what, this isn't a visual medium. What else do they do though? 
I, honestly, I don't know. So what do they? I, I, honestly, <laughs> I didn't um, research it so, as well as. Some I'll just let our listeners before. know. Rich isn't looking particularly impressed. Well, here we go. No ecology I'm, I'm not, and behaviour. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, we're not done. Okay, I'm not done. <laughs> I've only just started. Don't rush him. The naked mole rat is the first mammal discovered to exhibit eusociality. I'm not very good at pronouncing words sometimes. So. That means the hive. Does this it? is not yours. I'm Edison. asking a question. I'm going to ex- Oh, I'm okay. Go on. This use social structure is similar to that found in ants, termites, and some bees and wasps. Only one female, the queen, and one to three males reproduce, while the rest of the members of the colony function as workers. So the queen and breeding males are able to breed at one year of age. Workers are sterile, with a smaller focusing on gathering food and maintaining the nest, while large workers are more reactive in case of attack. You know, these big old, like, you know, rodents teeth are. Huh? Mm. Yeah. So they're, they're big. They're like, so they can bite you. Oh, real hard if they wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Super hard. Oh, I don't really find them scary. The non-reproducing reproducing females appear to be reproductively suppressed, meaning that ovaries do not fully mature and do not have the same levels of certain hormones. So maybe, well, I'm just guessing here, uh, maybe the, the main queen actually, you know, secretes, I guess, a hormone of her own that lets the others know that, you know, it's the main queen. Um, and so it prevents, the, it's like a hormone blocker, Back essentially. Back down, Is that bitches. Thing? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. um... You know, like, don't, you can't mature any more than this because I'm the one getting laid. None <laughs> of you are getting laid tonight. That's what the hormone says, essentially. Okay. So that's that's a basic way of describing okay. science to people. Sounds a bit selfish. Mm. It's for the good of the colony, I think. Okay. You know, but it is a bit selfish. Yeah. Because why does, you know, the se- like, she gets several males. It's a bit of a... Mm, greedy. It's like, what's the, what's the, harem, what's the <clears throat> female version of a harem, or is it still a harem? I think it's still a harem. Yeah, but it's weird how... You can mm. have a harem full of men. Oh, okay. It's no. just less money. No, from experience. It's probably not what you want. No. no. <laughs> would not want that. In experiments where the reproductive female was removed or died, one of the non-reproducing females would take over and become sexually active. Mm-mm. wonder who gets to... Like, do they have a ballot system? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, do they all put their names in, like, a little hat and they're like, who is it today? Josie, you've or got like it. the sorting hat. Yeah. Yeah, like a sorting hat. Like, um, can't breed. Not gonna breed. <laughs> not gonna breed. Ding, breeding. Okay. Yeah. What do the males choose? Are they like, mm, she's fine, girl? But well, they do, probably do you should. Know? It'd be right. Yeah, it'd be right, actually. Yeah. If they, I don't know. I'm still reading myself. <laughs> still Have you learning. not read this before? No, I've breed, he's, I've, he's come prepared. He's skimmed and it. it. I've skimmed it. And it shows. It. it shows the effort you put in. Non reproducing members of the colony are involved in cooperative care of the pups produced by the reproducing female. This occurs through the workers keeping the pups from straying. I don't know where they're going to go, though. This is a hole in the ground. Where are they going to go? Yeah, that's true. Out actually. of the hole. I think they just made that job. <laughs> like, yeah, but it, it, it'd probably be quite difficult, you think, for a little pup to get out of the hole. They've made that job up, I think. These workers are like, no, nah, we got to stay look after all these babies. Huh? <laughs> they're the doll bludgers of the... Yeah. They're getting there, having babies. And, oh, God. <laughs> So. Grooming, contributing to extension of the tunnels, and keeping them warm. That's essentially what the non-workers... I mean, the workers do, so... The only other eusocial mammal currently known is the Darmelin mole rat. <laughs> you just fudged that word. Oh, what the not. hell is that? Damaraland. 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 Sorry, enunciate. Yeah, enunciate. So where's that found? Mm, I don't think it matters, because I'm not doing Damaraland. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not doing That's every right. animal. <laughs> okay, sorry. Oh, the relationship between the queen and the breeding males may last for many years. Good Sorry, I like that. Like, you just... <laughs> oh, another fact. How the females That's are. interesting. Simple. Queens live from 13 to 18 years. That is quite long for a rodent, hey, considering oh, yeah, most rodents yeah. only live to be, you know, like, a few years old. How long the capybara But, yeah, capybaras being bigger would obviously... Yeah, be, yeah, but yeah. generally, like, the smaller... Generally, the smaller ones, yeah. ones like mice and that. Because they're, like, yeah. the size of a sock puppet, really, aren't they? The mole wow. rats. <laughs> That's an interesting way of putting it. They're extremely hostile to other females behaving like queens, so you know. But don't get too uppity. No, no. When a queen dies, another female takes her place, sometimes after a violent struggle with her. Oh, okay, so that's how they mm. choose then. There we go, we figured that out. Yeah. Like you read. <laughs> Once established, the new queen's body expands the space between the vertebrae and her backbone to become longer and ready to bear pups, so her hips widen, I guess. Essentially, oh, okay. Ooh, kind of like essentially going through puberty, I think, like yeah, a okay. puberty thing. Seventy days gestation. That's pretty long for a that's quite a rodent yeah. as well, especially that size. Female mate choice. Here we go. Reproductively active female naked mole rats tend to associate with unfamiliar males, usually non usually non kin. 
like I said, it's like we, we know something's gone on with Ken though. <laughs> we know what you guys are doing in there. Yeah. I think you're hidden. There's no hard and fast rules, holes. but we prefer it if you didn't. Do <laughs> we prefer it if you didn't have abnormal babies. That would be great for the colony. Yeah, you know, for genes and whatnot. You yeah, just got like little mole rats yeah. like ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> no. Stop it. Stop. That's a pig. That's not a mole rat. <laughs> How'd they get a pig down there? I don't know. It's smart. I'm pretty confused. <laughs> like, it's now. like, um, <laughs> I think, like, inbred vigor, it's called. Inbred vigor? Yeah, they get, like... They get super strong. A little bit. The preference of, or uh, I think it's interpreted as an adaptation. Inbreeding avoidance. Inbreeding is avoided because it ordinarily leads to the expression of recessive, deleterious alleles. <laughs> Do you know what that means? Yeah. Go on, then. Of course, it means, like, just, you know, bad ones. Mm. Bad. <laughs> what? Alleles. Alleles. Yeah. Do you know what alleles are? Yeah, they're like the DNA things. Oh, good work. They're like, like, the... <laughs> Quite like, the... The Adam's previous... waving his hands around yeah. vaguely. <laughs> like a double helix. Okay. Yeah, you know. It's like the bits in that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, essentially. Like, I know science stuff. Ge- like, I gene may... <laughs> forms. Yeah, I may seem like pretty <laughs> slow sometimes, but I do know the basis of science. You're pretty clever. Yeah. Like, I just secretly. say it in a way that other people can understand okay you know yeah like i wouldn't say alleles there i'd write the dna things okay yeah you get that you understand that i think so after the demonstration yeah i'm fully oh, on top wow. of it now naked mole rats feed primarily on very large tubers weighing as much as a thousand times the body weight of a typical mole rat Fucking naked that's mole rats sometimes also eat their own feces oh gross <laughs> just like yeah, um... that's that's not helping their cause to win this <laughs> also like rednecks i think that's a thing is it a thing yeah. Conservation status, they're not threatened. They're widespread and numerous. Oh. Like I'm doing all right. Like <laughs> I told there's a lot of I picked this because there's is a the, lot is of Is this the main thread that you're going for that naked mm. mole rats are like It seems like rednecks. you've got some issues. Yeah. No, naked mole rats are like rednecks. Okay. In a lot of ways. Okay. A lot of ways. Like it's is it coincidence? Possibly. Well, what else would it be? Well, <laughs> That's the question. Are you that suggesting asks, some it? kind of mm. like conspiracy between yeah. I think. rednecks and are naked mole rats the rednecks of the animal kingdom? Possibly. There we go. Possibly. We've hit, we've hit it. That's one of life's big questions, isn't it? It is, and we'll let the you audience just... discover that. So that's um, yeah, I found it, I found I learned a lot of things about naked. It mole wouldn't rats. like just now from the sounds of it. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so it, just so you know, we've had months to prepare for this. So yeah. Really. Yeah. Um, but. <clears throat> In typical Adam fashion, That's I've uh, come either unprepared or slightly prepared, but I only did it like yesterday. So I actually think that... Um, I think it would be weird if you turned up and you had like would, yeah. a binder and had done all this research. It's the only like... thermoconformer might not be a fact about naked mole rats. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's quite possibly something I've written under the notes about naked mole rats, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Brilliant. Wow. So we're misleading people i just want to this is a disclaimer well, yeah. supposed to be let's educating dis- people well aren't let's me? put a disclaimer out it's not necessarily going to be it's thoroughly fact based it's called an idiot's guide to animals yeah it's going to be fairly or, vague awesome and... af animal let's just forget oh, that we thought like of that awesome new name idiots <laughs> tell you some stuff about animals that's are we the may or may now? not be true how are we the idiots yeah. well actually from that well i think <laughs> from, from that it's yeah rich said yesterday that he thought we were casting him as the carl pilkington yeah. Oh, that's I like Carl Pilkington actually. Like Carl oh, he's a top yeah. bloke. He's yeah. super funny. He's got some good views of the world. Mm. He's funny. He's like real, you know. Yeah. Carl Pilkington for president. I Prime think Minister that Rich is fairly like Carl Pilkington. In I've got more hair than he has, but that that's isn't true. that relevant for a podcast. I Not guess. really. No. no. So you're yeah. He, he's a you know you're a top bloke. Carl's a top bloke. There we go. Are you trying to Can't curry favour and, like, get... No. Well, he needs <laughs> it, really, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm just agreeing. After that performance. But, I mean, do you have any other There's comments? There's some interesting facts about the name. I do have what a do question. Okay, what's the question? Well, I'm going to probably ask this for most animals because it is important. Okay. Can you eat it? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I think um, that question is going to be yes for a lot of things. It depends yeah. on whether... Oh, there's a, a secondary question you're to, to be it. Sick. But, yeah. Um, B, how much you cook it? Because I think if you cook anything enough, it's fine. Oh, well, the question is, are you allowed to eat it, I guess? <laughs> and then if you are, does it taste good? I think you'd be allowed to eat it, for sure. I didn't show you a picture of them, by the way. See you if, didn't. Just you see didn't. if you'd want to eat I, it I, first. I, they yeah. eat their own poo. Or would you want to eat that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's still... He's coming. Oh, it him. depends how hungry you are, I guess, doesn't it? It does. It does. Yeah, and I do need to see a picture for one of my potential criteria. 
Look at that. Yeah, nah. Do you want to describe it, Rich? <laughs> yeah, you describe um, that. It's a bit tricky. Like a penis with teeth? It looks sort of like... <laughs> That's yeah. an excellent well, description. Well, I, I hope that no one's penis looks like that, because <laughs> they should go and see the doctor. Redneck. <laughs> I rest my case. So, okay, well, so the conspiracy is that naked mole rats are actually just a colony of redneck penises living underground. It could be. A, that's, They've become yeah. self-aware, mm-hmm. detached themselves, saying, we mm-hmm. want no more of this redneck community. We're going to go and fend for ourselves. That's quite possibly, okay. actually. Something that could have happened, yeah. This is, this is probably going to give me nightmares. Imagine a colony of them. No, I don't want to. Crawling all over you. Gnawing. Mm. Just it, gnawing. Now that you've said oh. that it looks like, it does look like a oh. very wrinkly old penis with two teeth. It does, I told you. You've got tiny How many wrinkly eyes, old they? penises have you seen? It does though? have very That's tiny eyes, but that... Are they, they blind? Are, the... are they blind? Um, you know, eyes. they've got limited sight, I think. Okay. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. It looks like... Um... One of those wrinkly dogs, but shaved. Can I show you what Rufus mm. looks like, um, the naked mole rat that I liked? It, it, he looks much better than that. It's going to cheer me up, I think, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you what Rufus and Ron Stoppable look like. Legends. You'll notice a bit of a similarity between me and Ron Stoppable as well. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's less wrinkly. Right, from a distance. Still quite a lot that, like a That picture looks really wrong. It it's, does. <laughs> it's Ron it does with a like a pink appendage <laughs> sticking up out the bottom this, of the this frame. This is the girlians I with too. Good mm, that is Kim Possible. Okay. Mm. Do you have I any look, more questions, Rich? Sh- uh, should we play? Is it? Is there a copyright thing on this? Like, could we play a little bit of the naked mole rap? Uh, I don't, I have no idea what well, you are and are not allowed to do. Well, I'm going to yeah. play a little bit of it. Anyway. Just do like, like five seconds. We'll do ten. Ten seconds. Okay. And we're citing where it's from as well. <laughs> yeah, from Kim Possible. <laughs> The best song ever. It's a good song. <laughs> good, eh? That's enough, eh? I, I reckon we've heard enough. Alright, so, um, yeah, so, so yeah. that's enough of it. But I'll play the whole thing off here. And, okay, um, I'll look forward to that. <laughs> what a treat. <laughs> Really good, actually. I had I've had it on my um, <coughs> playlist all my life awesome. since I knew about it. You know. Okay. So that's right. uh, that concludes my animal. Um, as you can see, thoroughly researched. Very well uh, done. I'm well, somebody impressed. thoroughly researched it. Yeah, now Wikipedia. Yeah, 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 in charge did. of that. <laughs> well done, Wikipedia. Well done. <clears throat> um, okay. Shall I do mine? I reckon We've so. been actually really suspenseful. You've been really secretive about it. I've been trying to get it out of you for ages It's going to be such an anticlimax. <clears throat> but I'm going to give you a clue. That's what it is before I actually give it away. It's a typical Kirsten fashion. It's going to be an anticlimax. Here we go. Right. Okay. Are you Good. ready? Are you ready for the clue? Is it an ibis? I know what you it is. You did a freaking ibis. It's, it's one of those little crumbs. You did a freaking ibis. Is it? Oh my God. Is it a bin bed? <laughs> That's it's, a, it's I missing it. So you're waving <laughs> your hands like in front of your eye. mouth while making that noise with your tongue out. It's, <laughs> it's an experience to watch. It is it's the a... lubber lubber crab, or oh, as it it's crab. actually it crab, yeah. Yeah. actually it known as the sand bubbler crab, but I call it the lubber lubber crab because of the way they eat the. Does it actually sound like that? Or is that? I've made up. How the is sound. that a clue? <laughs> You've made, made up the sound. Here's made a clue. Up the sound. I'll play a made up sound. And the movements. <laughs> but thanks. That was a great clue. I'm going to definitely know what animal that is. That's how they eat, though, and like yeah, you watch wow. them eat, and that sound just immediately comes to No, that sound comes, comes to your to... head. <laughs> yeah, not, my, not anyone else's yeah. head, probably. You're like... a bit different to most people. No, um, normal. Yeah. What is normal, anyway? Not you. Okay, let's move on from that. So anyway, so the... <laughs> yeah. The lava so lava crab. That's what I call much... them. Oh, you've written down, you're prepared. I am, I've How told many pages you. have you got? It's longer than the Wikipedia article. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, all, all of this isn't for... Oh, okay. It's not Lubba Lubba. It's all of this isn't the Lubba Lubba Crab. Lubba Lubba Lubba. You don't cheat me. No is that the sound that comes to your head when you imagine? <laughs> well, I mean, you know well, how they... Like eating, so you, yeah, like, so they like, like, use their little front lubba. claws to yeah. like scoop sand into their mouth and then like spin it round while they... What's that with the little balls on the sand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so they're like spinning the sand round to make little balls and getting all the little algae and plankton and stuff off it. Clean in the beach for us. I'd probably yeah, think they sound like this. What do you think they sound like, Rich? They almost sound like Hannibal Lecter. I reckon they. <laughs> you probably can't really hear them, so. That's, that's what they sound like. 
<laughs> no, but if you were Perfect. a crab, like... Well, I'm not, though. <laughs> but if you That's were... That's stupid, Kirsten. <laughs> Or do the crabs have ears? Uh, I think. Mm, well, can... you've got to research. Yeah, I didn't research whether or not right. they have ears. So that could be an it's important thing to. Them. Could be important. I, yeah. I mean, they don't have ear lobes. They might have. <laughs> oh, should I? <laughs> What's their hearing range? I don't know. Well, don't start asking me questions without having all the information. <laughs> okay, okay. So. <clears throat> I asked the question. <laughs> So at low tide, they tunnel up from their burrows and like they clean out the burrow of all the sand and then they clean the area around their burrow and then they start feeding and they move <clears throat> in a straight line from their burrow up to about 20 centimetres, doing the little balls and then they go back to the burrow and then start again in another direction. So that's how you get all those little pretty patterns on the beach. I thought they were going in a straight line there. No, and so then they just... go back to the burrow uh-huh. and then go out again in a different direction. So, like, mm. most of them are, like, in a star shape or, like, in a spiral, like, Very because of the way they... <laughs> some are lazier than others, though, because some just do it all just outside the yeah, entrance. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, oh, I've done my bit. Yeah, yeah, and get back to work. <laughs> yeah, and some of them are really elaborate and they look really mm. pretty. Fancy ones. <laughs> <laughs> the fancy ones. Oh, look at my burrow. Look at this pretty. <laughs> Um, That's lovely to the <laughs> so, and then when the tide comes back in, um, they run back down into their burrow. But then it destroys the balls. The it destroys the balls, but it washes like all the all the nutrients and stuff back up onto the sand, so they can start again. So they've got pretty much a constant supply of food. And plus, they're also putting all the junk back into the ocean. Well, just the ocean. sand, like they're eating all the junk out of it. Yeah. Oh, so there's filtered sand back yeah. into the ocean. Yeah, yeah, mm. pretty cool. Pretty important. Yeah. So, going on the classification, I'm going to teach Rich a little bit about classification well, we'll, here. I'll classify it. Animal. Well, it, uh, wait, 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 wait. They're, they're really the tiny, sea. though. It's got legs. They yeah, but in the sea, they're, also. they're like okay. a centimetre. Like, they're super tiny. And it's kind of like a bug as well. Like, yeah. How does that work? Yeah, how, how does that work? Well, it is, it is on the borderline. They are quite small, I guess. Mm. Let me consider on this for a moment. Okay, you have a think, and I'll mm. tell you the actual classification. Oh, you mean your classification? Yeah. Well, the actual scientific classification. Mm. Okay, carry on. Okay, so obviously they're in the animal kingdom, mm-hmm. and they're in the phylum Arthropoda, which is over 80% of all described species, and that includes like insects and things like that. Basically, it's an invertebrate, and it's got an exoskeleton. So it's a bug. Yeah, I'm, I'm going back to bug, I think. I made <laughs> okay. a mistake. I, I can only apologise to our listeners for that error. It is, in fact, a bug. <clears throat> well, it's, it's an arthropod, so... Please do <laughs> So, have you heard the term Don't crustacean? Crustacean. Hey, <laughs> Cr- crustacean. It's racist. So, that's how they used to be classified. It's technically okay. a subphylum. So, they're not crustaceans anymore? Well, it is still used. According it's to Rich, used... they never were, but... No, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's still used as a subphylum. But have you heard mm. um, that podcast, There's No Such Thing as a Fish? It's done by the QILs. What? There clearly is such thing as a fish. No, right? Because it's what? it's what's called a paraphyletic... I mean, you've got fish in your classification. Yeah, yeah they, they are one of the main Right, four. but it's a paraphyletic what? classification, which means basically... Don't just that say some long of... words. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you okay. what it means. Mm-hmm. Basically, like some of the animals that are classified as fish. Don't. Like, <laughs> I see you did a little like, quotation marks. <laughs> classified. Wow. But some of them in that grouping are actually closely, more closely related genetically to animals outside of that grouping. So, like uh, coelacanths and lungfish are more closely related to I don't know, like reptiles. Well, reptiles another paraphyletic, but anyway. Anyway, but <laughs> you look really confused. So crustaceans You're another one of those. Confusing. Crustaceans another one of those. So like some of the simplification. That's the way forward. Some of the crustaceans are more closely related to, for example, insects. But the Bugs. reason why Bugs. they were called yeah. crustaceans in the first place is because they had a very specific body structure, and there's certain things which, like physiologically, cause them to be crustaceans. And one of the cool things is that they have baby teeth. They what? They have baby teeth. So like when they're a little larvae, they, a little they crab larvae or whatever. Where have they got them from? They've stolen baby's teeth. <laughs> no, they've grown them. They've grown them. So <laughs> like a little a little guy floating along in the sea and he's got a little special baby tooth. So then you go to class Malacostraca and then um, order Decapoda, which means that they are ten footed. And then the family Dotilidae, half of which are semaphore crabs, were the ones that wave around to communicate. 
and the rest wow. are the sand bubblers. And they are in uh, the genera go. Scopomera and Dotilla. Hmm. So they're the two groups that we're looking at. And they're found in sheltered sh- sandy beaches in tropical and subtropical Indo-Pacific. So that's why we see them all the time on Australian beaches. Because we're in that Well, range. where we are now, yeah. yeah. It's within the stuff you just said. <laughs> so, tropical and Thanks subtropical. Yeah. Well, you know Good. what tropical well, and subtropical is. So there's you? so many levels of identification. Yeah, I can see the need to make it simpler. Like I can, I think Rich is onto something. Well, why, why does everyone need to know all that? Mm. What's the importance? There's like big crabs, little crabs. <laughs> That's it. Who I, cares? It's all bugs. Well, Some... because they have um, differences which are important scientifically. Like if you're doing a research are paper on a specific kind to of crab, real life and real people. Well, it depends what. Are you saying scientists aren't doing? real people? Though? Oh, they're a bit different. Are we alienating science scientists? Now? Great. Well, we we just have literally uh, another group of people. Yeah. Um, scientists because are not. We should call this um, alienating everyone. I don't know. Yeah. That's all I can think Fuck of. everyone. Fuck everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you guys. An idiot's guys alienating everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about this animal thing. What um, other cl- things do we talk about? about? Uh, I don't know. I can't no. think of any off the top of my head. Not I think right we've covered now. a lot of people. Mm. Yeah. I yeah. could think of heaps actually, but I don't yeah. think it's appropriate. I mean, it is. It is very um, detailed. It the is. classification, You've done well with that. but um, like, I mean, the main I'm thing that you heaps. need to know is that it's technically a crustacean, and um, which but it's not really though, is it? Well, you just it, said it, it wasn't. Is, no, well. <laughs> oh. crustacean still used as a subphylum, but it's more it, it's more based on physical appearance rather than genetics. So that's simpler than the genetic tree of life. Not much simpler. Right. Anyway. I didn't know about all this stuff though, but it's just interesting. Yeah, so, I mean, it is interesting once you get down to it and things. like why they're all classified in a certain way. How... What you find interesting and what I find interesting <laughs> possibly <laughs> a little bit different. But anyway. Um, so they are very, very tiny. They're about 1 to 1.5 centimeters. And why they are classified as sambublers, like they all have what are called gas windows. On their thighs. Got a gas window. Oh. <laughs> it's not that kind of <laughs> gas <laughs> window. You know, it might do a similar <laughs> thing. I let out little balls sometimes as well. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah, luckily, you don't leave them on the beach for people to see. Well, though. you know, not all the time. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> There's the odd, odd occasion. So it's called a tympanic membrane because it looks a little bit like an eardrum. It's called a what? Tympanic membrane. Tympanic membrane. It's because it looks a bit like an eardrum. Um, and that ob- absorbs oxygen from the air. So Scopomera have them on oh. their thighs, but Dotilla have them on their thighs and on their chest as well. Mm. So they've got like booby membranes. Booby That's membranes. Interesting when you're looking very closely at a crab, then, is it? Yeah. So if you look really, really closely at the thighs. But they're only like uh, one and a half centimeters big. So yeah, so you need like. like yeah. And you've got to catch him. I don't think that's ever going to happen in real life. Not in real life, no. But just so, know that that's there. There we go. Irrelevant. Right? <laughs> they've got like little hairy bits as well, which help them. So they've got like I hairy. I go around looking hairy. at hairy bits. <laughs> so if you put them over, they like have hairy bits at the top of their legs. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> Do they really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they have girls under their exoskeleton. Girls. G- <laughs> they have... accents and girls. Gills. 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 <laughs> they have gills to help them breathe, obviously. Um, yeah. So you know how some crabs have different size claws, like the fiddler crab? The f- yeah, yeah. As like a really mad- These ones have just like the same size. They're like a... We call that as also... Um, the teenage crabs, because <laughs> one claw's bigger than the other. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know either. But, you know, use your imagination. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and the eye stalks can fold away into their... Oh, into imagine their, that. Yeah. yeah. So when they're going down into the burrows... They can't see. No, I presume not. They but their burrows are like a straight too. line, so oh. they don't really have to see when they go into the burrow. What if something gets crawled into their burrow and they wouldn't know? That's probably how things eat them. Well, the predators are more like seabirds and things like that. I've not seen any mention of like other little creatures getting into their burrows to eat them. Okay. So the the ones that you find in Australia are called Scopomera inflata. Wait, what's their okay. actual name? Like the well, they're just a sambubler, like they call them. Oh, they all call them yeah. yeah, but, but the specific scop- what is it? Scop- Scopomera inflata, and like it Fancy. all the. Latin Let me names. make a note of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, all their Latin names are like. Crab. There's one that's uh, the species name is Globosa because Globosa. because of like 
the, they look like little bubbles, like little round guys, like little peas. So their like, names reflect. <laughs> like little what? Peas. Oh, okay. <laughs> what did you think I said? <laughs> Um, and the other um, element that's used in their Latin names is that is their gas windows. <laughs> so <laughs> there's one called Dotella, Dotilla Fenestrata. And mm. as we all know, the French name for window is Fenetra. Is that right? Or is that door? Mm. I don't know. Fenetra. Anyway. Like it's almost like a backward, like, not Frank's, Sank Fenatra. <laughs> <laughs> Sank Fenatra. <laughs> <laughs> that well known crab singer. Well known crab singer. Yeah. yeah. Sank Fenatra. Um, so you've seen their burrows on the beaches. In different sediment, they actually make like little igloos for themselves as well. Igloos. So they like gather the in sand the, up in the heat. No, and well, it's heat. an igloo shape. Mm. They don't make it out of snow, or they make it out of like, the sand and mud. Well, and they like no blow snow, a little yeah. bubble no. around mm-hmm. themselves, and then like gather the sand up above them, like to make a little. To do what? Just to stay Something safe. To yeah, for just fun. just for fun. Just for fun. Why not? I... And, uh, Enjoy when... your work, eh? <laughs> not got a lot on, then just yeah, make build an igloo. Sure thing. Um, we all do it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I often see Rich out in the garden just like encasing himself. It and... doesn't surprise me. There's not nothing wrong with that. No. no. Blow a massive bubble around yourself. And then... Yeah. Mm. Um, and they do fight with each other and what, how they um, display like they raise their little hands in the air and straighten their legs and they stand up really tall and then they bob down and go up really really fast so it's like, like a rave bob, going on yeah oh. like a little little crab rave yeah and that's so pretty funny does it look exactly what you just did yeah do you want to describe what I just did it was not graceful <laughs> both you bobbing up and down or waving your hands yeah your that's exactly right it's um, kind of maybe like a seizure. A it did look a bit a like a seizure. Another person alienated today. Can oh. you take that one off? So you just imitated someone I think having seizures. No, no, we're no. no. Alienate as many people as you can in the first one, and then we'll we'll stop alienating. <laughs> okay, yeah. so okay, like, okay. Get it out of our system. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Stop it then. I thought while I was researching this, oh, such a cute little samba blur. He's amazing. I love him. I want to squeeze him tight. But um, yeah, then I found. Probably shouldn't was... squeeze him tight. <laughs> no, he's so small. It's I would crush him to death. Yeah. So that would be a bad plan. But they have a dark side, <gasps> and this made me super, dun, dun, dun. super sad. So in Japan, Uh-oh. they've done lots of studies down, yeah. of uh, Scopomera globosa. So that's the species that they've got up there. So they've done lots and lots of research on that about their mating. This is a quote from one of those papers that I read. Forced copulation characterises the mating system of this species. So that's a worrying start. It's not mm. good. Yeah. So with sand bubblers, there's two types of mating that go on. So you have surface mating. So all the females engage in surface mating. Together? Well, no, with like a with a male. Oh, okay. Yeah. But only small males do it. Oh, Okay. So they and they haven't they're fine. That's that's consented. That's consensual. Okay, and the small males are they're the ones that are Yeah. Like, yeah, they're like, Oh yeah, whatever, cool. we'll have a little fling and no yeah, worries, move on. It's yeah. Chilled out. That's primarily because the small guys can't hold down property. They can't keep like the bigger males just kick them out. Uh, and there's lots of matings per coupling, so the females like they really enjoy it. Really that. enjoy like, it. Yeah, yeah, they're like, come on, guys. give me some more. Yeah. yeah. So long as they know how to use it, I don't care. <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. Like, this is the best. Yeah. <clears throat> but then right the angle. second kind of mating, only wandering females, so females who oh, don't already oh. have a burrow. So they're just passing by, oh. and um, the males that do this are the big ones who have the burrows. The male chases and captures or ambushes and grabs one of these wandering females. Oh, yeah. Right? Ivan the latter. So he abducts her? He abducts her. Okay. He drags her to the burrow, pushes her in, and then seals it behind himself. It's real creepy, right? It's just like shutting the door. Well, like he's it would behind. be creepy though. Imagine you've got a female walking by your house. So basically, and like, <laughs> run out and grab her, and then like he grabs her, drags her into his house, inside, and locks the, the door. door. Yeah. 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 It's pretty, pretty scary. Much. Imagine yeah. that little crab. And. Mm. Because of everything that's happening in America at the moment and that whole thing with Trump, like all I could think of when I was reading about this is like little Donald Trump tra- crabs just like running out and grabbing these crabs by the by the crab 
pussy and just like, <laughs> dragging them in. Yeah, I've been thinking about this too much. I, I, it's really disturbing. It okay. makes me super sad. Like, mm. it's very, very rapey. Okay, very so then, then what does he do? Okay, so... Get to the good bit now. In, the, in, these, in these papers, <laughs> he said that there's very few matings per coupling. So basically, like, they tend to one resist. One and done sort of thing. Yeah. Right, here we go. Um, done it now. All so, it takes is one day to ruin her life forever. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's That's not it. really a laughing matter. It's no. not. Um, so he mates her, and then he waits in the burrow with her Ooh. for a couple of days until she lays her eggs, so that he checks. So she knows. He knows. Yeah, like... yeah. Does and she the... develop Stockholm during all this, or is it like not? I, I mean, I've not interviewed any of the female Yeah, maybe interesting. Crabs, so... yeah. Probably I should have done as part of your research. Well, maybe. well I mean, we've not been to the beach. Like, just the little female crab just screaming, like, be like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> and that noise. Yeah, that's what he's like. The yeah, that's real yeah. creepy. Now, nice. one of the magazines that reported this was like, oh, but he's so chivalrous. Like, he waits till she lays Sounds her eggs. Sounds like it so far. He waits till she lays her eggs, but then it's not all that bad because then he leaves her with the burrow. Oh, I was like, oh well, yeah, fucking oh, she great. Yeah, you can, um, she gets a house at the end of it. After you being can stay in the house r- that I've raped you in now. There you go. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, oh, that's not going to cause any lasting like, PTSD. Oh, oh, <laughs> someone couldn't rape me if they're going to give me a house. Richard! No, I'm not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> I think we've just alienated more people. Dying. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean that. But... <laughs> oh my god. There's <laughs> <laughs> um, a free house in the end. It's not really raping, is it, Rich? Consent. If, yeah, yeah if this it's is true. Yeah. Consent, so like, it, there yeah. is a flaw in my plan. Yeah, I'll give you a house. You need to watch that tea drinking thing right. again to understand no, consent. Yeah, yeah. What's the tea drinking? <laughs> oh. They explain consent using tea. It's like if someone's unconscious, they clearly don't want any tea. Don't force them to drink tea okay, if they're okay, unconscious. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Anyway, it's a good little video. But from an evolutionary point of view, underground mating is good more successful because uh, 80 percent of the eggs that are fertilized come from underground matings mm. does it do you find that like the, the offspring of the underground matings are they more likely then to commit rapes because probably the because rapes? like the dads are bigger so they'll probably inherit genes for but that is the bigger. main way of continuing the yeah yeah see species interesting yeah mm. so it's so like nature's encouraged right <laughs> i don't think we can say that <laughs> Yeah, let's not. That's not. It seems like the only people we aren't are alienating rapists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This is not well. This is not going well. This is no. not good. Um, Everyone else is bad, but yeah. nature encourages rape. No, um, it's not, let's, not, let's not let's the message not... we want to send yeah, on this um, podcast. And I mean, that's pretty much it. I had like threats to them, but after that, I what was. What threats did you have? Um, well, there's not. Yeah. I mean, they're generally not threatened. You stop it now. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but like some of the individual species are listed as threatened in their individual habitats. So oh, like you're not. Oh, you're not putting threats to the. Are you making threats to the rapist crabs? Oh like, right. Like, no one's like gone up, like wagged their finger. Yeah. You need to stop this raping shit right now, what guys. Threats have you written down to uh, discourage raping in, cra- in the crab world? I, I haven't. You, you haven't. I okay, haven't. So no, no, maybe. I've not thought that hmm. that far ahead. Okay. No. So yeah, that that's. That ended on a darker note than I was initially hoping. Yeah. You never know where these things are going to go, eh? Hey? No, yeah. so I was like, oh, happy, happy, oh, hang on. Hang what on the set. That's fuck? not cool. Bad crabs. Bad crabs, <laughs> yeah. I've got a phone call. You've got a phone call. It's vibrating. Rude. It's... Why have you put it in your crotch area? <laughs> <laughs> it just well, looks like you're touching yourself. I store it sometimes. Um, I'll ring them back later. Okay, I'm yeah. Who maybe moment. don't like. It's my sister-in-law. It's my brother. He almost cut off his toe. <laughs> It's not funny. Well, and everyone's totally panicking about it. <laughs> that was good. Uh, totally. Mm. Yeah. As we discussed so previously, it's not it's too big of a deal. No. He's got more toes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you don't really miss one toe, do you? No, we've alienated people with missing toes. Well, no. I mean, they might not miss them. They might agree with us. They might, like, yeah. they might miss Stop them. Stop pitying us with our nine toes. Yeah, true. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. Maybe there's some benefits to having nine toes. Maybe. Don't I don't know. So what do you think, Rich? Do you have any questions that I, um, I can answer? I'm interested to see who he no. thought was better, but yeah. she is pretty thorough, well, though. You can't really eat a crab, so there's no point even asking that. Well, you, I mean, you they'd be like crab. popcorn oh, chicken. They'd be like crunchy. Oh, don't Although I'd, just... probably, I'd rather probably eat him than the mole rat. Right? Really? Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's how you decide which is better. Which one you'd rather eat? Oh, this is next this time is I'm doing next time I'm doing chickens. This is like actually like 
a way that Rich generally determines what animals he likes. When we were on safari in South Africa, we had this guide in our car. And it was a bit awkward to begin with anyway, because it was just us and her in the car. Mm. So and she was, like, pointing, safari, she was like, pointing out the warthogs, and he was like, mm, can you eat them? And she was like, um, not, not those specific ones. And mm. then he kept doing that. Well, it wasn't as if I was about to, like grab out a spear and run out the back of the car <laughs> See, and get it. I think she was worried that can can I eat that? Can you bring that it's to It's a me, useful to the piece of tonight? knowledge. Yeah, like just you know, just you in case know you're in the wild, you know, yeah. and you're stuck out. You might want to know what yeah. you can and can't eat. Okay. And it is a general as a general rule, can you eat like yeah, like I don't want to eat that one, but if I had to, could I? Mm. Is what you want to know. And does it taste good? Well, that was the follow-on if, question. If, you, if you've got a, a choice, water could become like bacon, like pork. Yeah. You know, so you, yeah, it's like it would. you wouldn't go and I don't know, I don't know what's a bad animal to eat. Mm, really naked mole rat probably. They tend not to sell horrible meat in the shops. So well, it depends what you mean by bad. Like if you eat an endangered not animal, that would be oh, bad as well. I've eaten an yeah. endangered animal. <gasps> Adam. I know I shouldn't say that, but I have. You're gonna get arrested. Probably, but no, it's fine. It's caught traditionally and everything. So. Oh, okay. Okay, you're still like mm. so super happy. You don't want to know what it was? <laughs> no. I don't, why Why do people do this? Like, tell me like <laughs> things that they've done. Do you want to know? Because I think the reaction would be brilliant for like the whole game. Oh, so I'm going to tell go you. On, then, no, tell there's me. two of them actually I've eaten. You've two eaten two yeah. and they did not. Oh, fuck. I've, I've eaten a dugong. Adam! And a green sea turtle. <gasps> Adam! <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're an evil person. <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, what? Okay, so it's already been killed and cooked. And I'm going to be like, oh, I don't want that. Yeah, well, it's, it's a yeah. waste. Yeah, but it, what it's, it's a waste. waste. I've already got this yeah, but rhino how often horn. Do you, get... do you want this rhino horn? Because it's already dead. Well, in It'll that case, right. like, how often do you get off on a rhino horn? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like, it's already dead. The principles, man. I know, I know, man. But like, I was, I was a kid. Well, I was seventeen. I think you should be idiot of the week. Well, then you'll oh, just kill right. another one to replace the one you've eaten. No, but like, because you've already so they they've killed it, they've cooked it. It's almost like insulting to that animal to have gone through all of that. And not being used for its intent, you know, like to be eaten, you know, like that's kind of crap, eh? Like mm-hmm. he's gone through all that, you just gotta throw it in the bin. No, not, not on my watch. I'm gonna have to agree to disagree on this, I think. Serious? Yeah. He's gonna hurt you when this is oh. finished. <laughs> no, but like, um, there won't be another podcast. There won't. That's the end of it. It's gone. No, I'm serious, though, yeah. So, and like, how often do you get the chance to say that you've done that? Not often. I was curious. It's I was like three. Bad. It was like six mouthfuls. Were they big mouthfuls? Not really, no. They were like six little bits. But oh. it was really nice. They were disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> really good. But really gross. But I loved it. <laughs> I would never try it. I wouldn't actually try it again, obviously, because I know better now. Okay. But and, now you know um, how good it is. Yeah, but the problem is, like, if I was offered it again, I'd have to really fight, like, well, no, it's not good. Well, no, if you were offered it again I'm in the same good. situation, according to your logic, you'd just have it again. Yeah, well, I'd yeah. have to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, well. Yeah. 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 Well, you're sitting there doing that. You're judging me when everyone's eat, out here, like, eating beef and that. That has a lot more of an environmental effect on me. Yeah, but six cows aren't endangered. Jingle. Yeah, but cows are actually damaging the environment, which is destroying is... more endangered animals than what that one killing that one jugal never did. This okay. Is true. So maybe, Fair but point. maybe don't replace beef with. I'm not gonna replace, no, no. <laughs> That's not the right. Way I'm just to saying, like, uh, you can't you can't judge me on that. When yeah, if you eat beef, you're pretty much contributing to the. I mean, I eat beef. Like, I'm not saying don't eat beef, <laughs> but I'm just saying you're also contributing to the the detriment of the environment as it is. So. This yeah, you can't really judge me for eating six bites full out of a dugong and a, no, and we a can. green sea turtle. Yeah. But you've you probably done way We're more damage. still going to judge you. Just by eating beef, hey? You've still going to judge you. have been judged, been judged oh, found one thing. But I understand, that's, that's a fair <laughs> argument, I think. Again. That's a fair argument. Anyway, okay. I've got I've got quite an important question. Okay. We know what the little lobba lobba crap is supposed to sound like, mm-hmm. but what does your animal sound like? And please, can you give me a demo? Well, I don't... I think it's like... <laughs> Like, that's, I don't know what that is. That's all. You have to do, do like do the... it close so they, that everybody can enjoy this experience. <laughs> and then when sounds they, a when bit they... like a pig. Yeah, because they look a bit like it too. Okay. But then when they get eaten, my son goes, <laughs> and that's it gone. Eat a eagle. I think it'd something. be a more shrill little. Oh, no, no, that's no, a, just a like short little. Instant, cause it's dead straight up. Just... <laughs> <laughs> have you never hit an animal? With a car, I mean, like, by accident. <laughs> I've never, like, gone around hitting animals to hear what they sound like. Punching them in the face. <laughs> well, they're like, well, I knew this. Yeah. No, no, like, it's like, when when an animal, like, you know, you've accidentally run over one, 
just what happens. It, it's not like it's a it's a slow drawn out process. It's a no, I, the, I guess not. So imagine when like a predator grabs it. I think it's quite quickly discarded off and eaten. So it'd be like a, <laughs> like a <laughs> uh, done. Okay, I'm glad I asked that. <laughs> Have you got all the information you need? Um. Yeah, well, now that's pretty much, I've got all the criteria, I've just got to make a judgement. Okay, do you want to get on with that, or oh, do we... you think... Yeah, <laughs> probably. This pod, yeah, like, this is getting listen for pretty, half an hour. Yeah, pretty long. Yeah, nah. yeah, so um, we'll just make a well, I don't think I can give the prize to a rapist crab. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> really? Can I? Shit! I, I think that, in, in most other ways, they are better. Put the rape just but the rape off. sort of yeah it's yeah, it just a, got it's a minor dark, negative it? thing on the whole a minor thing, negative yeah <laughs> rape oh, yeah <laughs> nah they're they're fucking disgusting little things okay I hate them only the big ones oh only the big ones yeah actually sorry I don't want to want to judge all of them I don't want to judge them all the same but yeah <clears throat> those big boy ones big boys let's call them those Trump ones the Donald Trump Trump ones the Donald yeah. Trump crowd. okay yeah. big boy Trumps. Big boy trumps. Yeah. <laughs> They're the worst guys. So you're saying that right. naked mole rats win? This is... Yeah. Uh. yeah. He did. Yeah. I yes. think, I think you might Wow, the to. conclusion to this is... Unsatisfactory. Both are is. really bad animals. So <laughs> really shit yeah. But the one, it's not his fault. He looks <laughs> ugly as an old no, smashed in wrinkly penis, is it? No, it's not It's not all. his fault. <laughs> but no, that's exactly right, but it's their and fault. And he does raping. sound yeah. very cute. That's Can sweet. we just have that That's one sweet. more time? Just the one where he died, or the oh, maybe not the one where he dies. <laughs> <laughs> Let's end on a cheery note. <laughs> I think yeah. he got cuter, if anything. Yeah, he did. He's pretty cute. <laughs> yeah, see. All right, so that's uh, one Little nil. Little disclaimer: I don't Adam. actually know if that's the actual sound they could mull Well, I'm pretty sure I that hope, the I hope samba birds don't do my sound either. Yeah. Well, that's it from that's an it. idiot's guide to animals. Um, if anyone does end up listening to this and wants to contact us. I mean, we don't have Facebook or anything at the moment because we don't know if anyone's going to well, no, be interested. No, we're going to be set up a Facebook page because people will listen to it. Okay, okay, okay. yeah, well, let's be positive. Um, but we do have an email address um, for the mm-hmm. moment, which is an idiot's guide to animals at gmail.com. So if you've got any funny or weird stories that you want to send us that you think we want, want to discuss, or if someone's just being a bit of an idiot bit about of a animals... <laughs> Loser. Then, or if you're just lonely. Bit of a Trump. Yeah, then, if you're just lonely and want to like so connect. Nice. Yeah, actually, well, um, yeah, if you're lonely, want to connect, tell us about your dog and your hundred cats that you have. If you're <laughs> obviously <laughs> that lonely. All right. So yeah, see you next time. Goodbye for now. See ya. See you in a little Bye. while. Good day, guys. <laughs> Not good day. Goodbye. You can cut that out.